All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Recha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taj of War. Back at you with a quick lesson, and this one is going to be quick as well. Um, I don't have a title, but I saw this video. And I thought it was very interesting because, you know, everybody is mourning and and they're mad, you know, they're mad, you know, at the so-called elite, you know, the, uh, the uh, House of Esau, okay, the international bankers, the Rothschilds, you know, these so-called royal families that run the world and call the shots and push the buttons, you know, everybody's mad. And you're gonna see in this this video, which is only about 35 seconds, he's complaining. So that uh, leads me to a scripture. Matter of fact, just thought of it. Um, this is the book. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, and verse one. It says, "He that being often reproveth, excuse me." He that being often reproven, excuse me, let me read it again. He that he that being often reproved, harden his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So, when the righteous are in authority. Guess what? The people is going to rejoice. And right now the people are not rejoicing. So what that tells you? That tells you that the wicked is ruling. Meaning ruling the world. Alright? And in the kingdom of heaven, when Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds and make his second return. Alright? And we have harmony. We have righteousness reigning in the earth. Everyone is going to rejoice, man. And, and guess what? Even the heathen that go into captivity... They're going to love that where that where we are the rulers of the earth. They're going to love that righteousness is reigning upon the earth, man. Because the other nations are going to have to keep the laws of the Most High. All right? They're going to be judged by the law. You know? So, in the kingdom of heaven right here on earth, we're going to rejoice. But the scriptures say, but he, it says, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So, that lets you know who's ruling the world. All right? The wicked, which is Esau, Edom. The house of Esau. Alright? And uh, that makes me also think of Job 9.24. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. If not, uh, uh, where and who is he? You know? Roughly paraphrase, excuse me. Alright? So the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. So, you know, I want to play this video. I want to play this video. Uh, just give me one second. All right, so without further ado, let's play this video. We hand over our hard-earned tax dollars to these people, and then we go out and line the streets and watch them spend it, and instead of rioting, we just stand there and wave flags at them, fawning over multi-millionaires whose only achievement was being born into the right family, the right family that is full of fucking wrong-uns and paedophiles and Nazi apologists. Pampered assholes, literally, they have a footman to wipe their ass for them hmm. at the taxpayer's expense. You see that? So the nations are mad, man. We hand over our hard-earned tax dollars to these people and then we go out and line the streets and watch them spend it and instead of rioting we just stand there and wave flags at them, fawning over multi-millionaires whose only achievement was being born into the right family. The right family that is... It's the only achievement being born into the right family is because they were the thieves, man. All right, they stole everything. You know, they got a head, they got a head. And this was the, you know, the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know, these devils done got a head because this is their kingdom. All right, proving the scripture that I quoted earlier, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. So, uh, real quick, uh, I was thinking of something, thinking of a precept, let me see like it. The right family, the right family that is full of fucking wrong-uns. Right, so I want to get this scripture here. This is um, 
This is what our Lord Yahweh Shai said. All right, and this is in the book of um, St. John, chapter 10, verse 10. It says, um, The thief cometh not, but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. All right, and that thief is Esau. That thief today is Esau Edom. Okay, it says, The thief cometh not, but it says, The thief cometh. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. And that's his whole motto. All right. Rape, rob, you know, and murder. All right. He's the colonizer. You know, these devils, uh, you know, did a great number on the Israelites. And still to this day, he's doing a great number on us and destroying us. You know, Jake all fucked up because of this devil. You know, the wine. Ooh, got to go into Habakkuk. You know, uh, they transgressive by wine, you know, these false philosophies, these different religions. Got Jake messed up, man. You know, Jake first and then the rest of the nations. So it says, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Yahweh Shai said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And you can check out, check out the agenda. We all know the agenda that they have, the 2030 agenda. You know, the smart cities, the MOTB, which is the CHIP, you know, the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, everything becoming digitized, you know, all the money being digital. And this is all what, a form of control. And this is going to make life more miserable. You know, you won't be able to buy or sell unless he that had the mark, you know, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you got that CHIP. So this is going like, to make life more miserable. You know, the slogan was, you know, you will, you will own nothing, but you will be happy. You see that? So Yahweh Shai said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. All right. More abundantly. So when Yahweh Shai come, as I mentioned before, when he make his second return, we're going to have this earth in righteousness, man. We're going to have the resources, you know, we're going to live life perfectly. We're going to even not die, man. Apostle Paul spoke about the sting of death, defeating the sting of death, you know? So therefore, we're going to really truly live a life and we're going to have it more abundantly, man. More freedom. We're going to truly be free, you know? We're going to own this earth, man. And not just this earth, but even other planets. Yahweh yeah, Shai mentioned, he said, in my father's house is many mansions, man. <laughs> you know, I love this scripture, man. But, um... Let me get this real quick. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 17 and 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thou sword. And, and Edom is, is the Lord's sword. You know, we say whooping stick toward the Israelites, man. He's a sword, man. You know, you check out Esau's blessing. His blessing was what? To live by the sword. Uh, and to have the fatness of the earth, you know, this, this, his blessing is, uh, the sword, you know, and his sword cuts, it kills, it murders, you know, everything that he have, he stole, he murdered for it, man, so that's why these devils have to pay, all right, it says, arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, it says, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thou sword, from men which are thou hand, O Yahweh, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thou hid treasures. It says, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. Right, and that's what he do, man. It seemed like they never catch a L, they never lose. Because after generation after generation, they leave their wealth with their children you know a lot of these children today in 2023 probably 20 something years old 30 years old they reaping the benefits of their forefathers they inherit companies man and these guys are rich you know and like he said you know let's play it again just because you're born in the royal family you inherit what the riches of the earth so check this out 
We hand over our hard-earned tax dollars to these people and then we go out and line the streets and watch them spend it and instead of rioting, we just stand there and wave flags at them, fawning over multi-millionaires whose only achievement was being born into the right family. The right family that is full of fucking wrong and paedophiles and Nazi apologists. Mm. Pampered arseholes. Literally, they have a footman to wipe their ass for them at the taxpayer's expense. He's he's pissed. <laughs> you know? So, so this also means that he's being exposed in his time. He's being revealed in his time. You know? All right? It says, um, verse 14, from, from men which are thou hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life. And Esau does have his portion, you know, in this life. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 is a time, season, and purpose under the heavens. He has his portion, all right, to rule the world, you know, because he's the wicked. The Lord is coming to fulfill prophecy, all right, when he makes his second return. And he's going to fight against the wicked. So he has his purpose, you know. Scriptures also say he showed favor to the wicked, you know. Showing you our, our Heavenly Father is a just power, man, because he even allowed Esau to rule the world. You know, even though Esau cried for a blessing because he was supplanted by Jacob, our forefather, right? He was supplanted of the blessing and the birthright. The Heavenly Father still blessed Edom, even though it was more like a, a blessing curse or a curse blessing because the live by the sword, you know, that's that rape, robbery, and murder. That's that death, man. All right. And he truly lives by it. So, it says, from men which are thou hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thou hid treasure, they have they are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thou face in righteousness, I shall be satisfied when I awake with thou likeness. So that's why it's important for us to hold, you know, to be patient. To hold fast what we was taught in this truth you know because we're going to be changed when the lord activate that new covenant he changes our bodies we taken up into the ships you know or a ship and we changed we're going to put on you know a body that can't be destroyed man we're going to be truly made new right now we're rehearsing the righteous acts you know we're putting on the elect but soon all right, it's gonna be known who is his elect. You know, when you see them, you're gonna say that's the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So it says, as for me, I will behold thou face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. You know? All right, so I did want to get something else and I'm gonna close. You know, like I said, it's gonna be a quick lesson. I ain't have nothing. You know, I'm kind of just flowing in the spirit with this video but uh lord willing i hope you're edified man get something from it you know um this is habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4 it says behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him but the just shall live by faith you see that the just shall live by faith it says verse 5 yea also because he transgressive by wine he is a proud man neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people and that's this damn devil all right and especially like i mentioned earlier when it comes to the agenda of agenda 2030 the nwo is for them to have all nations one under edom you know so that they can actually be as if they the most high you taking that 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 C hip, you taking that M O T B, you see, and that makes them what a god. So they now they can control you, like if they're the Most High, man. You know all assets and ways of life. They can even know what you're thinking about. That's how deep the rabbit hole goes. They can actually know what you're thinking about, man, before you actually manifest it with your tongue. So anyway, it says, um, "Yea, also because he transgressive by wine." He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desires as hell, 
and it and is as death and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people shall not all these take up a proverb against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his it says how long and to him that laden himself with thick clay shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them because thou hast spoiled many nations all the remnant of the people shall spoil you thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land and of the city and of all that dwell therein woe to him that coveteth an evil covetousness to his house that he may set he may set his nest on high that he may be delivered from the power of evil thou shalt cons consult it excuse me thou shalt consult it shame to thy house by cutting off many people and have sinned against our soul for the stone shall cry out of the wall and the beam out of the timber shall answer it woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity you see that it's locked here let me people rolling up I want them in my business all right it says woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. You see that? It says, Behold, is it not of Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, that the people shall labor in the very fire, and the people shall weary themselves for very vanity? For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that puttest thou bottle to him, and maketh him drunken also that thou makest excuse me that thou mayest look on their nakedness and he does this all day long all right they the ones that put the drugs they put the guns into the cities you know they put all of these um wicked devices for jake to eat up and then when jake eat it up you know he act like he had nothing to do with it you know you know and jake jake all fucked up man let me read it again. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that putteth thou bottle to him, and makest him drunk, drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. And then when Jake sinned, he get to have power over you. He get to watch you, you know, and control you. This is Esau, man. This is why they had in the year 2020, which we all know what went down, you know, and then after they forced you or they made you fear you know, to take in Satan's piss, that venom, and, um, you know, and, and now they, 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 you know, if anything happened to you, they're not held accountable. You know, that's an example, man. Yeah, that's an example because they're not held accountable. You know, if you, you at your own risk, but here it is, you can't work. You couldn't work at the time. You couldn't go, you know, you know, do the things that you normally can do unless you took the Satan's piss. But guess what? If something happened to you, it's not their fault. <laughs> it says, Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also. Drink thou also. And let thou foreskin be uncovered. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee. And shameful spluing shall be on thy glory. Right, and that's the point, man. Because things gonna overturn, man. The Lord gonna take these devils out. But prophecy has to be fulfilled. One prophecy after another, man. Soon Yahweh Shai gonna crack those clouds, man, and deliver his elect and fight you other nations. Alright. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.